Ancient Sumeria was a civilization which appeared full bloom. Meaning they appeared without any precursor or more primitive civilization. That, though curious in and of itself, is not the most unusual aspect of ancient Sumer. Not only did Sumerians have a complicated law system, including juries, medicine, including invasive procedures, ships and navigation, but more remarkably, an amazingly advanced knowledge of astronomy. They knew the Earth revolved around the Sun, and they knew about all the planets in our solar system even Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, which were not discovered by modern day science until 1781, 1846, and 1930. One of the most controversial seals ever discovered and discussed among scholars is dubbed VA-243, and seems to depict, according to many, 12 planets within our solar system with the Sun at its center. The seal which dates back at least from the 3rd millennium BC can be found at the State Museum in Easter Berlin and is catalogued as VA-243. It allegedly depicts the entire family of our solar system and a rogue planet identified by authors as Planet X, or Nibiru, home planet of the ancient Anunnaki. The creator of the seal decided to place a huge star, which resembles the Sun, at the center, surrounded by other celestial bodies. The size of the star in the middle is represented as a larger body compared to the other celestial bodies. The one in the middle depicted differently with characteristics surely reminiscent of rays coming out of it. Are these characteristics just a coincidence? In addition Sumerians are talking about 12 planets while our current science only recognizes 9. It's true, the seal represent the 9 known planets, with the moon nearby the Earth, and the largest moon of the solar system, Ganymede orbits around Jupiter. This 11 celestial bodies surround the Sun in the center. But, what about the 12th planet? The twelfth planet is placed alone in the middle of the seal, it's represented by the Sumerian as a very far planet, perhaps this was his real place when the seal was created, or the farthest point he can reach, according to other Sumerians mythology, the twelve planets is called Nibiru or Marduk. This is a planet of the Anunnaki, who visit our solar system every 3600 years. Orbit of Nibiru is elliptical, and Nibiru is simply traveling through this orbit visiting our solar system and passing between Mars and Jupiter, then taking turn around the Sun, and leaving our solar system for another 3,600 years. This discovery of this sky map is extraordinary. It clearly proves that Mesopotamian astronomy was much more advanced than we ever believed. Ancient Mesopotamian astronomical texts also describe the destruction of the planet Tiamat in historical times, a planet they claimed existed between the orbits of Mars, named Nergal, and Jupiter, named Kishar, which scientists today call the asteroid belt and which is also assumed to be the remains of an ancient planet by modern scholars. The Sumerian creation tablets state that our solar system was just starting to form and the planets had not become solid yet. 
an intruder planet appeared and fell under gravitational influence by the elder planets. Our primitive planet Earth was labeled by the Sumerians as Tiamat. One of the large moons of this intruder planet collided into our primitive Earth, Tiamat. The collision cracked Tiamat in half, spewing out debris into the pattern we now see today as the asteroid belt. After the collision, Tiamat was thrust into a new orbit. The debris revolved around itself formed a moon, and the waters of Nibiru's moon intermingled with the waters of Earth and life began to arise already whole and complete. In fact, the Sumerian civilization has always been the subject of a debate between archaeologists, especially concerning its origin, its knowledge, and its beliefs. It was a mysterious civilization and full of secrets, but the most fascinating, are the Anunnaki. Who are the Anunnaki and what is their mission? New theories will be revealed at the next video.